Hey guys, it's Joe Cannon, and in today's video, I want to switch things up a little bit, and instead of talking about a dietary supplement, I want to talk about what someone would do if they were in a fitness center and there was a medical emergency. Somebody had a stroke or a seizure or a heart attack, etc. Uh, and I want to do this because well, what you may not know about me is I have a master's degree in exercise science, and I've conducted over 750 personal trainer certifications. Um, I train the trainers, if you will. And one of the things I, I discuss in the classes I teach is this very topic. Topic. And it's been my experience in these classes that is that many trainers, even those who have been training for a long time, they don't know what to do. And it has never occurred to them that people could actually die while working out. So I want to uh, give you a little piece of what I talk about in the classes uh, that I conduct in the hopes that uh, if you never meet me, this will help you if you're ever faced with this dilemma. So who am I talking to in this quick video? Well, yeah, I'm talking to personal trainers, group fitness instructors, but really anybody who works in a fitness center, and that includes owners and managers of fitness center, center as well. Um, and, and, and what I want to say to you as I go through these, these slides is don't just look at the slides, listen to me. Um, I, 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 I do a lot of talking on this, and I've got some things that I really want to say that um, I think need to be said that nobody really wants to talk about. So um, again, I promise this won't be a long video, but this is going to help you you. This may actually be one of the most important videos you actually watch this year. So what are you going to learn? We're going to talk about emergency procedures in gyms and fitness centers. Um, I'm hopefully going to help you make you a better personal trainer or group fitness instructor, uh, or hopefully really help you help another human being um, in probably the worst day of their life, which is during some sort of an emergency situation. Okay. So right off the bat, let's just talk about the typical thing that happens in a, in a gym when something bad happens. The front desk becomes aware of the person at the front desk becomes aware of something bad. You know, again, somebody tripped on a dumbbell or fell down some steps, etc. They often call 911 very quickly, and that's great. I expect that to happen. So, what else happens? Well, everybody else around them panics. The gym members panic. The fitness staff panics. Um, sometimes the members of the gym don't want to get involved. Um, I've heard stories of people who actually run away from the event, which is just ridiculous. Um, if it is a heart-stopping event like a, uh, a, a heart attack, the manager or owner of the gym will often perform CPR. Somebody's going to get the AED and bring it to them. And then if they need to do, use a defibrillator, then they will do that. Most gyms do have AEDs these days. Now, again, as the real thing is really prompted me to do this is that um, it's my impression that many in the fitness industry, personal trainers, group fitness instructors, etc., don't know what to do in a medical emergency. Um, and I and I have some some thoughts on why that is. Um, and I, I think many fitness centers just don't have an emergency procedure in place. And even if they do, maybe they don't even teach people what to do um, during a medical emergency. But that said. I am under the impression that most fitness centers in America do not have an emergency procedure in place. If you don't have an emergency procedure in place, then nobody knows what to do when an actual emergency happens. So why uh, don't people know what to do? Why, you know, why, why, why is this happening? And I think happens more, more often than, than people know. And that is that the owners of fitness centers are afraid that if they do not, if they, if they tell their staff that people can have a heart attack, for instance, while working out, that that person probably won't want to work there. Uh, and this is really especially true for younger individuals who may have never uh, encountered this, this possibility before. So I think it is fear. Uh, there's a high turnover in fitness centers. They may not pay very much, uh, especially say at the front desk or other places, especially at first. And so they're afraid if they're not paying them very much and then they scare them, people be like, I'm out, I'm not doing this. Um, so that's one thought why, why people don't really seem to know what's happening. Uh, another thought is that it's quite possible that the, the owner of the fitness fitness center, um, it just never occurred to them. And many times uh, people who own uh, gyms like to work out, so they buy a gym, they create a gym, um, but it's just never occurred to them that somebody could actually uh, die while exercising. And um, I know this happens because I've had some of these individuals in classes and they've literally told me we, this ne never occurred to us. And and, and so I'm, I'm glad to enlighten them. But again, if, if, if several people are telling me this, I know there's probably a bunch of others that are in the same boat. Now, point number three is that some fitness centers will hire individuals as trainers uh, and fitness staff who are just quite unqualified. They are not certified personal trainers. They're playing the part of a certified personal trainer. Uh, and what do I mean by that? Well, I, again, a lot of fitness centers have an, a high turnover rate. 
And so the manager may uh, have to hire somebody to work, say, the 8 to 12 shift or whatever. And then they'll just grab one of the members, say, hey, do you want to be a personal trainer? And per the person will be like, yeah, sure, what do I got to do? And they'll say, you know, here's this shirt. You know, you're going to work the 8 to 12 shift. And we'll give you one, two, maybe three months to get your certification. Well, that's unacceptable because for between that one to three months, that individual may be training people and they're not certified. Now, while while some of you may be – your mouth just dropped open when I said that, that, un that uncertified personal trainers are working at fitness centers. I tell you that this is the truth in some instances. I know this goes on because, be because personal trainers have told me this goes on. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've even not met self-employed personal trainers uh, who have no certification, which again, that gets to the uh, well, well west nature of the fitness industry in some places. Um, it is getting better, um, but it, it, is, it is still a problem. And, and then number four, certified don't mean qualified. Uh, sometimes I think as managers and owners assume that you, the personal trainer, are certified that you know what to do in a medical emergency. That's not always so. And, and so, uh, again, certified does not mean qualified, does not mean you know what to do. And so, uh, again, this behooves the managers and owners to do training, medical emergency training, um, with uh, the staff of, of the gym. Okay. So what should you do in this instance? Well, if you if, if you don't know, go go next time you go to your gym, just you know ask the owner or manager, do we have an emergency plan? And if the answer is yes, fantastic. Uh, you know, devote it to memory and you know burn in your mind. And if this ever does happen, follow it to the letter. That's all you got to do. Unfortunately, it's been my experience that a lot of fitness centers, and these are also some big names in the fitness business, do not have an emergency plan in place. I've actually been told uh, by some personal trainers that the emergency plan becomes instituted after something bad happens, not before, after. So that's, again, I'm glad they're doing it, but I'm, I'm, I'm saddened to the fact that it took a problem for them to uh, address this issue. Now, if you're at a fitness center and they don't have one, um, well, then, you know, A, bring it up to the manager and owner and maybe consider throwing some of these thoughts out to him or her. Number one, you become aware of a medical emergency. My, my best advice for you is everybody around you is going to be kind of losing it at this moment. I want you to take a deep breath and center yourself for about one second and say, okay, it's on. And I want you to either call 911 or direct someone else to call 911. Now, Wherever the medical emergency is, you can go to that area and help. Now, and I'm saying this on purpose because if the medical emergency is in, for instance, the ladies' locker room or the ladies' bathroom, men, you can go to these areas. Ladies, you can go in the men's locker room and the men's bathroom during serious medical emergencies. Don't believe anybody who says you can't. And, and I'm saying this on purpose because there has been instances where people did not go into the opposite gender locker room and people have died. And, and I want to really be serious about this. So um, again, and this is one of these things where it's a, it's a common sense thing, um, but unless, you know, unless you've been thinking about it, it may have never occurred to you. And so you may freeze if, if this ever does occur. Um, it, again, if somebody's had a heart attack, okay, somebody's going to have to do CPR. Most gyms have an AED, so at some point the AED is going to be brought, and if needed, you'll, you know, you can put the leads on the people, and the AED will do the work for you. Um, uh, point number four, it, it, this is something I don't see done very much. If you work at a fitness center and it's a large place, and it's in a strip mall with a lot of other businesses, somebody needs to stand outside the gym and wait for the paramedics to arrive. Why? Well, the paramedics may not know where they're going, and and, and because if somebody may have called 911 and said, hey, there's there's a medical emergency at you know X Y Z X Y Z gym, uh, they don't know where they're going. So if there's somebody in the front, in the parking lot, parking lot, they can say, Hey, come on, follow me. We got to go to the tennis courts. And again, that's how you're going to get medical attention to that person quicker. If the person filled out a health history form, if you know who the person is, find their health history form, make a copy of it and get it to the paramedics. That's going to have their doctor information, uh, their emergency contact information, et cetera, critical information for them to know. And then finally, after everything is all over, as soon as you can, fill out an incident report. Incident report is just a one-page form. Uh, all gyms do have them. Who, what, when, where, why, uh, what happened, uh, and witnesses, etc. If you are the person who did the responding, uh, then you should keep a copy of this for your records, and the uh, manager or owner of the gym will get another get the other the separate copy. Okay.
Now, when it comes to uh, the essentials of emergency preparedness when gyms, I, I have got four steps here. And number one is everybody from the janitorial staff all the way up to the owner is going to have to be AED, CPR, and, and first aid certified. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Um, and if it's only, and I don't accept personally if it's only the owner or the manager or the manager on duty, everybody should have these certifications. Um, I think everybody who joins, uh, joins as an employee um, at, at a gym should be given a hard copy of the emergency plan and instructed to devote it to memory. Okay, A summary of the emergency plan should be placed at the front desk as well as the personal trainer uh, desk and maybe even in aerobics rooms as well. Again, this is because when, pe when things happen, people may make mistakes and this is going to help them uh, better respond more quickly and efficiently. And then point number four, I, I think all fitness centers should do random, unannounced mock emergency drills to test the responsiveness of the staff. I think the more times this goes on, the more better people will respond when in fact uh, something like this does happen. And again, I want to be frank and let you know this does go on. People do die during exercise. Um, and again, it, it, exercise and death, is it's very, very rare to die during exercise, but it does happen. And I don't want you to get caught uh, blindsided by this. So Hopefully this video has helped you. Uh, please share it with other people if, 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 the, if, if your friends have never ever encountered something like this before. Uh, and again, if you have a, a comment below, leave a comment and I'll address it myself. I'm going to put a, also a link to my entire uh, review on gym emergency procedures in, in the uh, comment section below as well. So that's it, guys. I really hope this has helped you. Um, that's all I got for you. Uh, so again, I'm Joe Cannon and take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.